Hey guys, so finally we have a day without too much wind, so I'm going to try my new wing. So what this is, is a, basically a cheap Banggood Fun Flyer. That's a 50 US dollar kit. Um, I honestly forgot how exactly that thing is even called. I link it in the video description below, but it's a cheap 50 bucks kit. A full DJI FPV air unit, Crossfire, a GPS, and it's got a Maytag F405 flight controller. The motor is a Racer Star 2514, 1500 kV, and I'm going to run this thing on a um, 6S 1300 milliamp hour. So I think it should be quite fast. <laughs> I, I hope it will be more or less uh, easy to start and land that because I'm honestly a total noob when it comes to wings. But let's get this thing in the air and um, let's find out what happens. I record with the goggles. Because honestly, I slammed the unit in there in a way that makes it basically impossible to access the SD card. So what you're going to see is um, DVR from the goggles. Whoa. Hey, that thing is fast. Holy Okay, let's chill a bit. Battery recover doesn't work pretty well. I mean, for a noob like me, it's really not that easy to start that thing. And keep it in control, but I mean, flying it's actually super easy. I think it's quite stable. Uh, let's put it in. Uh, oh, there's a drop of water stabilized mode for a bit. Uh, yeah, doesn't really help. Aqua mode is the nicest, I guess, so far. Um, I have a drop of water on my camera that doesn't really help. Nevertheless, let's see what this thing can do. Let's maybe do a little flyby. Full throttle now. <laughs> that is a lot of fun. It's wobbling around slightly, but it also got a bit windier. Can do some loopy stuff and flippy floppy stuff. <laughs> My battery is sagging quite bad, but I'm basically giving quite a lot of throttle here. 3.7. Unfortunately, I forgot to uh, have the speed displayed in my goggles. That's a bummer. But I'd say, I mean, it's pretty fast. It's just, I mean, it's not shockingly fast if you're used to fast quads, but in any case, you know, it, it, it does really move. Cruising speed is really not bad. So I'm in mid throttle now, roughly. I think maybe even a smaller, higher pitched prop would be okay. This is a six inch, uh, six inch, six by five, I think. Maybe a five inch. Now, I think it's starting to slightly rain. Fortunately, in this wing, I mean, all the electronics are protected. The only thing I have to worry about is getting too much water on my lens, not seeing anything anymore, but so far it looks fine. It's getting a bit wobblier now. I mean, it's not this, this super nice locked feeling you have on a quad and I'm sort of missing it. It's, you know, it's a bit wobbly. Maybe it's not perfectly balanced, I don't know. But in any case, it is quite a lot of fun. I mean, I'm just flying this over an open field now. I could imagine that if I flew somewhere a bit more interesting with a bit more landscape and uh, maybe in the mountains, this could be 
quite a lot of fun. I'm getting a bit more confident now to fly lower. Ah. Honestly, I'm more worried than with a quad because I mean, if the, if I crash this, it's basically gone. It's not like you know, I'm not gonna recover much of it unless I'm like on a quad, which usually is quite fine after a crash. 3.5 volts now, three bouncing back to 3.7. So I think I slowly start to look for a landing. Five minutes flight time. That indeed is not very impressive, but I mean, I was also going pretty fast. I think I could have uh, flown this more efficiently. So let's do a landing attempt. I will land it on the concrete strip right in front of me because I realized that um, landing these wings on wet and soft, muddy grass doesn't really do any good. They sort of get stuck. So, careful, careful, ah, very slowly. Perfect. <laughs> All right, I mean, that thing was quite a lot of fun, especially considering uh, it's a $50 kit uh, with a cheap race star motor, cheap flight controller I don't know if it even I mean yes it needs a flight controller for the DJI unit uh, but I didn't even use the stabilization or anything I just flew it in acro mode uh, it would have returned to home and GPS and everything um, but I think looking at the flight time we got now of uh, I think it was like six and a half minutes um, maybe maybe we can get up to ten if we're taking it slowly but I would say this is not really something to fly uh, really long range, more for fun flying, and I think it performed pretty nice for that. It's a, that was quite a lot of fun, even for an absolute wing noob like me. It was actually uh, was actually manageable to start it. Uh, takeoff was okay, landing too, as you saw. So uh, I think I think that's a recommendation. That thing is pretty cool. I put the part list in the video description below in case you want to build one for yourself. Um, right. Hope you found this interesting and useful, and as you as always, if you're not a subscriber, hit that button. Alright <laughs> guys, bye!